Adam, let's start with our favorite story that comes up over and over. This has kind of become my barometer for how the world is doing with COVID-19, and that's Tenet. Christopher Nolan's Tenet, our most anticipated movie of the year. It's still scheduled for a July 17th release date, and every week we get another news article along the lines of the one we saw from Deadline today, which says, is Tenet still sticking on its July 17th release date? The whole film industry, all of Hollywood, is looking to Tenet as the potential savior of cinema around the world. And exhibitors were expecting a decision this week on whether or not Warner Brothers was going to stick to the July 17th release date. And there was no announcement, no news, and this might be a case where no news is good news. They haven't delayed it yet, but Deadline reports that some of their sources have revealed what is going into Warner Brothers' decision. So what it comes down to is that for it to make financial sense for this movie to open, we need only 80% of all of the movie, all of the world's movie theaters to be open oh, by the July. the world's movie theaters. That's right. They need mm. 3,500 domestic theaters and 30,000 international theaters to be open by July 17th for it to make sense to open this movie or at least that is what warner brothers is currently thinking i wonder how many are open now it's probably a lot less yeah right mm -hmm. now in america i was actually reading there is some box office to report in the u.s right now i think it's less than a hundred thousand dollars a week it's all coming from drive-in theaters uh, and presumably that 80 percent of all theaters that number's a little bit inflated because the assumption is that when movie theaters open part of the safety protocol will be they cannot open at capacity, right? You're going to have to have seats in between people. You might, you won't be able to fit as many people in one theater as you could prior to the pandemic. Now, what else is going into this decision is just how much this movie cost. It's a $200 million budget that probably doesn't include marketing. And on top of that, reports say that Christopher Nolan will get 20% of the first dollar gross of this film. Adam, do you know what first dollar gross means? Uh, is that? No, I don't know what that means. I'm guess, <laughs> guessing it translates to a lot of money for him. Christopher Nolan is going to make a lot of money off this movie. So a lot of times filmmakers get screwed because they get a percentage of the film's profit. And in Hollywood, there's a lot of funny accounting they can use that even if a movie does really well, they can report all sorts of costs that make the movie look unprofitable. Mm -hmm. So if you're as powerful as Christopher Nolan, you can ask for a percentage of first dollar gross which means you start making money the moment the first ticket is sold rather than having to wait for the movie to actually be profitable. And then you get a percentage of gross revenue. So that just goes into the equation of how much money this movie needs to make for Warner Brothers to be happy and to recoup what they spent on it. And sources say they don't expect a formal decision to be made until very close to the release of this movie. So I would expect us probably on a weekly basis to get articles just like this one for the next month or so. Just asking, is Tenet going to release on time? Adam, every time this news story comes up, I always ask you, you're my barometer. How's it looking? Do you think it's realistic for Tenet to release on July 17th? I think it's realistic. That said, the the 80% thing is giving me some pause, but I'm still on the side of, yes, they're going to stick to that date because it seems like the plans they have in place for how to mitigate the transmission of coronavirus during all of this and how to make people feel safe and everything like that, I think they have a good plan in place. Mm -hmm. It's just a question of, do they think people are going to get over the fear? And I think mm -hmm. they will in most, of the, most places because people are kind of getting sick of staying inside. And Sammy in the chat says, hey, guys. Hey, Sammy, thanks for joining. Feel free to chime in. <laughs> and Adam, I'm feeling a lot like you where I'm starting to feel more optimistic that this is a it's at least a realistic possibility. This is all based on my totally unscientific feel from going for a drive the other day and just seeing a lot of people out and about and paying attention to what I'm seeing on Facebook. It just feels like people are starting to get stir crazy and we know the risks we know a little bit more about how to handle the risks it seems like people are ready to go out of the house 
Now, I will say whatever happens, I don't think we're going to be surprised. Meaning a few weeks from now, we're going to be watching what happens around the world. And three to four weeks from now, we're all going to have a pretty good idea of whether or not this is realistic. Meaning we're going to see if beaches reopen, do people go? If supermarkets start to have more people in them, I don't think tenant is going to be the thing leading the way. It's going to be the other way around, right? We'll watch the rest of the economy and then we'll see what happens. Now, if it does open in July, some people are worried about how it's going to perform, not just because people are going to be too scared to leave the house and go to the theater, but think about marketing. Right before a movie comes out, the marketing machine turns, you get commercials, billboards, radio ads, sporting events are huge. These movies get advertised at sporting events, and of course, right now, there aren't a whole lot of those happening. So you would think they've got to make this decision sooner rather than later. If they decide July 5th that they're going to release the movie in a week, that just gives them a one-week window to market the movie. So I will say, I guess, Adam, your thoughts on marketing this movie. Some people are saying that without people driving around and listening to the radio, without sporting events going on, they might not be able to advertise this movie enough. I think just the, the, the whole situation actually lends itself to more publicity for the movie. So if people hear, hey, there's a major movie that's actually going to come out. They're reopening all the theaters. This is the movie that's leading the way. That alone is going to get on every news station and uh, probably everyone in America will know the word tenant. Exactly. And the number of articles I read referring to billboards, and I thought to myself, is that really the big funnel that gets people into the theater is billboards? So I, I agree with you. I don't think there's going to be any issue marketing this movie. I think the news will be marketing the movie for them. Because every news channel, every news website is going to be saying, hey, cinemas are reopening and they're all playing one movie on literally every screen. Mm -hmm. Not to mention there's something called the Internet, which is a great marketing tool. In fact, Scoob, which was just released also by Warner Brothers this past weekend, had a TikTok event to try and drum up publicity. That TikTok video, over 4 billion views. Whoa. <laughs> so... Uh, I think there will be no issue marketing this movie. I think if it opens in July, it'll mean that people are ready to leave the house and it's going to do gangbusters at the box office. Last thing I want to mention about Tenet is the Deadline article heard from inside sources that it's, quote, as amazing as Inception. So mm. if you were, if you needed that little extra push, you're on the fence, do I really need to see another movie from Christopher Nolan? Boom. I think we, we should go see it. Now, what would be more meaningful to you if the article sa said it's as amazing as Inception or it's as amazing as Interstellar? Uh, for me, Inception is a little bit higher on my list than Interstellar. I love both movies, and I have no doubt when there's a Christopher Nolan movie coming out, I know I'm going to see it, so it almost doesn't matter. But for me, uh, Inception inches above uh, Interstellar by a little bit. How about you? I want to say Interstellar, but probably just because I've seen it more recently. Yeah, how about and you, Alon? What's your uh, your number one Christopher Nolan movie? Or at least between those two. Probably Inception, but uh, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Interstellar. <laughs> I, 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 I likes space love the, so much. I That's love the, the idea of Interstellar more, right. but I like Inception a little more. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Any other thoughts on Tenet? Any other predictions around U.S. cinemas and global cinemas reopening? Yeah, I don't want it to be as good as Inception. I want it to be even better, though. There you go. Yeah. 